Hi everyone, good morning. This is Deborah. Today is an interesting topic for you men. Nobody else, just the guys. Uh, yeah, it seems like I'm having coffee because time is very limited for me right now. Okay, so this is for the guys. Oh, you like my hair? All I did was just put it up. And this is what I get. Plus, I used Olaplex. All right, so let me itch my head first. Get that over with. Okay, these are some of the reasons why you guys may not be able to get the date that you want to get. You may get a date, but it may not be the guy, the girl, it could be a guy, I don't know, that you want to have a date with, but this actually happened at work the other day. I had to say, keep saying no to this one gentleman, and one of my co-workers say, why don't you want to go out with him? Well, never, ever question why somebody don't want to go out with anyone, because you may get an earful, okay? So... It's because I happen to know that this this individual has a mental problem. So don't don't ever question why someone says no because we women have a right to say no just like men have a right to say no. So that may be your number one reason why you're not getting a date because you have a mental problem, okay? Another one which I think is the biggest uh reason is you're not accommodating her needs. You're not asking her what is convenient to her. If you are pressuring her or putting her on the point, she's not going to enjoy that date. Do you understand what I'm saying? Hold on. Mm. This coffee's hot. Ah. So, Another reason is she may know that you're already married. She may know that she's seen you walking up and down the street with another woman. But she's not going to say anything about that. She just knows somebody in town has said, oh, he's married. You know, don't don't go out with him, you know, because women don't want to get in some fish fight with some woman. So that's another reason i'm giving you all the reasons why i haven't gone out with anybody so in case you haven't caught on yet all right another reason is if you're the guy and you ask her to come to your house for a steak dinner she's going to say no if she has any common sense because that is very risky and very dangerous always on the first date you want to take her to a public a public place I don't like this top because you have to keep pulling at it, you know? I don't know. Okay, so back to why you're not getting that date. Um, also, if you're the type that is has a little bit of stalking in you, you know, if, if you have a guy that's down on the ground and you live high and they're whistling or throwing rocks at your window, that kind of scares a girl too, especially if you haven't even gone out on a date with her. Also, if he if you're if you're a motorcycle rider and you haven't confirmed that she likes motorcycles, she may not want to go out on a date with you because she may have had people in her family who have passed from you know motorcycle accidents. So that's another thing. Don't don't ask a girl on a first date uh, if she's a little apprehensive about getting on your motorcycle. Okay. Also, um, the last two dates I've had. I got kind of close to them like this, and I felt I just smelt a terrible odor. It's It was not just their breath. Yeah, it was their breath too, but it's not just their breath. It was their whole aura. I mean, it was like the smell was just radiating out of their skin and pores. So I think it would really help if you got, if you showered, I don't know, maybe you need to detox yourself. Like, I don't know, take a shower and bacon soda or vinegar. I know something. You need to get that smell out of you. I don't know how you can do that. I'm just guessing. So don't try that because I don't even know what the hell I'm saying. Okay. Another reason is if you're bald, she may only like guys with hair or vice versa. Maybe you got too much hair. I don't know, but women can be picky. Uh, let's see. What else? Oh, if you if during the first 10 to 15 minutes of introducing yourself to the girl, you never freaking shut up. 
she's already going to think you're a narcissist. Uh, some of you are like covert narcissists, and women can be the same, you know. You never know that they're batshit crazy till you've gone out with them. But, um, so, let's see, what else? Uh... Yeah, if your wig's not on right, you know, that, that that's actually happened to me, too. Uh, my gosh. Um, oh, Crocs. If you got Crocs on and she ain't a Croc girl, she's a flip-flop girl, that could be the reason why you're not going on a date, especially if you've got socks on with the Crocs, okay? She's going to know that you just ain't cool, okay? Uh if your where if you if your wardrobe hasn't been changed since your grandfather was still alive, that could be a reason. Uh, also, if you got holes in your clothes, now it's okay if you just got off of work. But gee, Jiminy Cricket. Um, also, if she is used to the finer things in life, and you're asking her for a cup of coffee, she could be starving. Take her to go get a sandwich, people. That happens a lot to me because you know what I tell the guys? I'm not going to shave my legs for that. I can get coffee at home, okay? Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. I actually wanted to turn around on a date because I saw the inside of the guy's car. I thought maybe there was a murder going on inside of his car. And if you got your back seat filled with Budweiser cans, any woman in the right mind is not going to get in that car because she doesn't really know if you've been drinking. So clean up your area, guys. Clean up your area. Uh, let's see if I can remember some other things. Oh, if you're on these dating sites and you took your picture far away with your sunglasses on, and then she finally meets you. She finds out you've only got one eyeball, or you've got a big, big ass wart right here. Don't be surprised if she says, oh, I got to go. There's been a death in my family. That's happened to me uh, several times, okay? Uh, believe me, I'm not that picky. I just sound like I am, so my eyes getting very very bothered with this surgery i need to have i don't know plus i think the reason why i can't hear i need to see an ear nose and throat doctor because this ear is clogged i've never had trouble with my ears but you know i know this has got nothing to do with what i'm talking about but whatever mm. also ask a girl where she wants to go ask her what her hobbies are or what she's interested in if, if you want to go to the drag strip and she likes the NASCAR, you know, then, then you've already made a bad mistake. Unless she's interested in learning new things. Or if you ask her to go hunting with you uh, and she doesn't like, you know, guns or whatever. You've got to make sure you get on an even keel with a woman with what she likes. When I was dating my boyfriend who I ended up marrying, we went every Sunday carp fishing. And because I adored him and liked him so much, I went. But after two years of this, I took the paddle and I think I wanted to throw him off the boat. Yeah, I wanted to throw him off the boat because it was all about him. Yeah, so please ask the girl, is there something that you're interested in? Maybe she likes to go and bet on a couple horses, or maybe she likes bingo or bowling, but involve her in the date, people. Okay, so I think I've got one more minute. Um, yeah. So, uh, the obvious is if you're going bald and you've got that one little strand, or maybe two strands, don't be camouflaged in that bald spot. I actually went skiing with the guy and I thought he had hair. And then as he was going down the ski slope, that how he twisted it came undone. And it was like this long. And it was, he was going down the slope with this long piece of hair. That kind of made me mad. So try not to camouflage something that's going to be noticeable. So what happens if you're wearing a wig and you're getting ready to go to bed and have intimacy with the woman and you got to take your wig off or your wooden leg? Honey, this is going to be very startling to the girl. 
So I got a, a tough day ahead of me, people. So I'll take some more coffee. Thanks for watching. I hope I made you laugh, people. Bye.